Good, beautiful morning to you, and welcome to Kingdom Moments. I am your host, Pastor Gerald Kirby of Lighthouse Church in Pensacola, Florida. Kingdom Moments exist to share the whole gospel of God with our family, capital I, capital L, capital Y. Today's focus is choose your words wisely. Not what enters into the mouth defiles the man, but what proceeds out of the mouth. This defiles the man, Matthew 15, 11. So the foundation of what we are talking about can be traced directly to Jesus as he gave every single believer authority, his authority, to bind the enemy on the earth and to loosen God's will over the earth with our words. Now, I need you to understand the importance of this lesson, because up until now, we've been hinting at the fact that our words do carry weight and authority when we speak, okay? But today, <clears throat> pardon me, we are going to see the positive and the negative effects of an undisciplined mouth. Now, let's start with the positive. I'm driving down the road, and this thought pops into my head. It's a strange thought, and it's a thought that God most definitely would not think. Okay? But by God's grace, Holy Spirit has pointed that out to me. Right? That this thought in my head is not from God. Step one, we have to listen to Holy Spirit. Now, I've identified this thought, and I identified it is not from God. It can only be from my adversary and from your adversary. What are we saying here? In reality, a spiritual being has been tasked to attempt to place an evil thought in my mind to get me away from my relationship with God. Okay? Now, this is where we bind. With our mouths, we can speak the words. <clears throat> Father, Papa, Dad, God, however you addressed Heavenly Father. <clears throat> Excuse me. Father, this thought is not from you. I give you this thought and I ask you to purge it from me. Now, because I am, number one, a child of God, number two, I've asked in faith. And number three, I'm asking him to remove what only he can. God answers that prayer. Watch this now. Every single time. I don't know how. I just tell you he does. But now let's look at the negative side. All right. Same scenario, same warning from Holy Spirit, but the temptation is just too much. And I become deceived into thinking that this negative thought is a reality of my life when it is not. But as a, as, a result, as a result, out of my mouth comes words like, I'm never going to be able to do that. What have I just done? I have spoken, now watch this, I have spoken with God-given authority that I will never be able to do this thing. Now I could say I didn't mean it, but the enemy doesn't care. Listen, our words are our binding words on this earth. We do have the power to tear down even ourselves, and we've already seen that. And there's a lot more to binding and loosing, but for today, the Lord would have me point out to you the importance of every word you speak. And in order to not be deceived by the enemy, we must understand, watch this now, because this is big. Your mouth isn't the problem. It's your heart. See, a hard heart says hard words. A soft heart says soft words. Try and choose which words God's would, God would have you say. And we're going to talk about this more tomorrow, Lord willing. But for today, watch words. Pay attention to the words that you speak. Ask right now. You know what? Let's just pray together. Holy Spirit, Father, we thank you so much for this day. Father, I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, would you just set that guard over our mouths that we read about in Psalm 141? Would you just place that guard over our mouth? And before it even comes to our mouth, that you would already, by grace, be talking to us. In our, in our mind of Christ, 
to say, this thought is not from me. This thought is not from me. Help us, Father, in this day. Give us the grace and the faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, family. Take care. Love you.